All right, let's go in and let's take a look at ChatGPT. The fastest way that you can get there, at least the way that I get there, is ChatGPT into Google. And then it's usually the first one that comes up. It is going to ask for your Gmail address. So you'll put in your Gmail address just so it can verify who this is that's coming in. And then you'll go down to the bottom where it says try ChatGPT and you'll click on it. This is really just a dialogue system. You're having a dialogue with a chatbot or AI and it really feels real. It feels like you have an assistant that you can ask any questions to that you're interested in. So today we're going to come in and we're going to learn how to use this for a variety of different things. The first one that we're going to use is which one doesn't belong. So some of you are familiar with that from Sesame Street, which one doesn't belong. So I'm going to ask it to create a which one doesn't belong activity for a third grade unit on Charlotte's Web. We're going to differentiate it for low, medium, and high achievers. I like putting that differentiation in there because then it gives me the, it'll give me the differentiated level so I can see exactly where it is. I'm going to press enter and then it's going to spit out some information for me and it's going to give us examples of which one doesn't belong for these three achievers. And you'll notice here that it's giving us the explanation of why we have something pretty similar, pretty simple for the low achievers, kind of at a medium level for the medium achievers and something that's really going to stretch those high achievers. And you can see on the spiders, you can see on the high achievers that it really goes into the different areas of Charlotte's Web, but it's talking about um, the, I can't even pronounce some of these words, but it really goes deep into, into this so that those kids will really have to stretch, go out and do some research and find those answers. Let's do something similar for which one doesn't belong for our Harry Potter. Let me type that in. All right, so I have it typed in here. Now I'm just gonna press send and it's going to generate some answers very quickly on which one doesn't belong for a fifth grade unit on Harry Potter. Give us low achievers going to give us the answer, medium achievers and high achievers. Excellent. So you can see it really stretches those high kids. Now let's say that you are working on a unit in first grade on penguins. So let me just type in my prompt here. And this is the one for Charlotte's Web, but I'm going to say which one doesn't, create a which one doesn't belong for a first grade unit on penguins. Differentiate it for low, medium, and high. Let's see what comes up. You can see it's very simple there for the first one. Different types of penguins and that snowy owl for the second. And you can go in, sometimes you're going to look at this and you're gonna say, okay, slipper automatically, that's gonna be one that doesn't, doesn't fit in here. So you can change these as well. So they fit in and they are just as uh, challenging as you want them to be. Now I'd like you to think about how you might use this in your classroom. So thinking about the which one doesn't belong, how might you use it in your social studies classroom, in your language arts or your reading program, perhaps with math? or science. Think about how you might use it maybe for social and emotional learning. There's lots of different ways that you can use ChatGPT. And this is just one strategy, the which one doesn't belong. There's lots of different strategies and lots of different ways you can use it. Let's brainstorm.